Hello everyone, this is Daniel and Kelly with FitnessBlender.com and today is day number four of our five day challenge. So today we're doing a combination of upper body strength, cardio, a yoga burnout, as well as a yoga cool down and stretch. So this one, just like the rest of the days, we have a harder and easier version we're going to be demonstrating, so just watch out for those. Uh, you are going to need, or we suggest you use some dumbbells for this routine, although you don't necessarily have to use them. Uh, other than that, we have your warm up and cool down included, so you don't need anything else uh, other than just to get started. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, we need to go ahead and get our warm up done first before we can get to the fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get it going. Let's start my timer. We're gonna be doing each one of these for about 30 seconds each, starting off with a lateral step pull. So your hands are gonna be up over your head, just kind of stepping left to right, getting a nice wide step, and working against yourself with those arms over your head. So being day four, you're probably getting nice and sore and probably a little bit tired, which is perfectly fine. Make sure you're keeping your carbohydrate up and playing plenty of water in your system. Otherwise, you just gotta kind of push through it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, oh, toe touch sweeps are next. So sweeping down to one side, over to the other, and up. Um, you can always follow along with that easier version if you are still feeling sore in one of the muscle groups that we're working because mm -hmm. the whole point is that way you can keep moving without doing those really explosive deep movements that are gonna kind of re. Um, break those muscles. Alright, side bend steps. We're just kind of rocking back and mm -hmm. forth. Try to get a nice uh, tight squeeze on that torso. So working your oblique to kind of pull yourself across sideways as well as stretching out that opposite side. Mm. Got all kinds of things popping. Yeah. <laughs> We get that question a lot, actually. If it doesn't hurt, probably nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, shoulder roll, butt kickers. So, going back, in front. Just keep that motion going. Try to get that shoulder shrug in there as best you can as well as get a nice tight squeeze that heel up towards your butt. Alright, ventral raise, high knees. So one leg comes up, those arms come up, down, then the opposite side. Keep those arms nice and straight. Try to stretch them back behind you as far as is comfortable. Just make sure you're not shrugging the shoulders up to your ears either. All right, side lunge, reach, stay down, come to the center, and then reverse fly. So we're mimicking some of the motions we're gonna be doing during our actual workout without any weight at all, just kind of warming it up. The more you want to get into that leg motion, get a little bit more cardio out of it, you just start doing a, a deeper range of motion in there. All right, and we're doing a step behind, so we're opening up the hips, so nice and tall, really exaggerate it, tap behind your body, then up front again. Because of the cardio, our legs are going to be doing some work today. They're doing lots of work tomorrow, so <laughs> don't do anything extra outside of this workout. If you're following along, Mm -hmm. Okay, next up we're doing up and out, so we're stepping up our cardio a little bit, so stick with me for the harder version. Daniel's going to be doing the low impact version today. So, similar motion, but you're jumping. So for that low impact version, make sure you're really concentrating on that range of motion. Try to get that knee up there as high as you can with every single step. Feel about having to do the uh, hard version today. It's all good. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> it's almost a holiday. <laughs> Switch foot jumps. Okay, right, so staying nice and springy in your feet. Land nice and soft. And pick up the pace as you start to feel warmer and warmer. If 
five seconds. All right, up and out jacks. So the last regular warm up exercise and we'll move on to the next portion. Keep it going. We've got about 10 seconds left. Five seconds. All right, so keep your feet moving. Move right into that strength and cardio section. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this. We're going to be doing each exercise for 40 seconds on and 15 seconds off to transition to the other one. An A, B, A, B pattern, and then we're gonna do two cardio exercises back and forth. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right, let me get my timer started. We're starting off with a decline chest press, so laying flat on your back. And grab your weight for that. And you want your hips kicked up in the air. So bring those hips up and then regular chest press style, elbows out to the sides and press right back up over top of that head or over top of those shoulders, excuse me. So don't worry about counting repetitions. We're just going until the timer turns off. This should suit us much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since we... <laughs> A little bit of a, a issue with counting repetitions. Let's focus on that form. Nice, slow, controlled motions. Try to get as much range of motion as you can. If you have a bench to do this on, by all means, use the bench. All right. All right. We're switching to a bent over row, so go ahead and switch your weights for that. Come up and out to the side. Really concentrate on keeping a flat back. Try to get as parallel to the ground as you can. Fifteen seconds left. Try to fight the uh, desire to run through these repetitions really quickly. Slow down and focus on that form more than just trying to do a bunch of repetitions. All right, back to that chest press. Back down on the ground. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nice slow controlled motions. Remember, keep that forearm pretty much straight up and down, wrist right above that elbow. Try to keep those hips up nice and high. The higher you bring those hips, the more you're going to be focusing on the lower portion of your chest rather than straight across the middle. Keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. Let's keep those reps going. All right. Round two of those rows. So this is a really fast paced routine. So don't feel bad if you miss a couple seconds in the beginning. You're going to feel a little rushed in these supersets. And we're doubling up on all these muscles with that yoga routine. So they will get, uh, <laughs> they'll get work. theirs. <laughs> And if you don't have a, a style of dumbbell that lends itself to switching this rapidly, feel free to pause it, take your time setting up that weight, just try to keep it as quick as you can. Ten seconds left. Alright. Alright, now we're going right into our cardio exercises. First one is going to be a high knee pause. So I'm going to be doing a slightly easier version, Kelly's going to be doing a slightly harder version. Here we go. Alright, so one, two, three. So, you're just doubling up on that third leg. This calls a little more coordination. 
balance. It's a little bit easier than a regular high knee. <laughs> Pick up the piece as you get comfortable. That goes for the easier versions too. Just because you're doing a low impact doesn't mean you have to go slow. Because you're working to take out some of that impact, you want to make sure you're also focused on getting a really nice high range of motion. All right, V jump jacks are next. Again, Kelly's gonna be doing the more ballistic version, the slightly harder version. I'll be doing the slightly easier version. All right. So we're jumping forward, then back, our feet where they are, or the bottom of the V. So out, in, out, in, <laughs> then jumping jack, then reverse that motion. Oops. So you can tell my range of motion is a little bit different. My form is a little bit different than hers. Just to cut out those jumps, you still want to try to move nice and quick. 10 seconds. All right. All right, back to high knee pulses. Pauses, excuse me. All right, here we go. Just to get going, let's go. <laughs> get it over with sooner. Twenty seconds left. Oh, you move faster than that. Come on, do the hard version. <laughs> There. Ooh. And let it relax. My hip flexors are getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, back to that V jump jack. Alright, just remember out, in, out, in, hop your feet apart, and then reverse. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Ten seconds. All right. Okay. We're going to our next uh, right. center exercise. We're going to be a ventral raise. So grab okay. your weight for that. Um, I'm gonna go with four pounds. See how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> These aren't particularly easy. Yeah. All right. So straight arm, straight back, nice and slow, straight up in front of your face, all the way over your head. Then nice and slow back down. You don't necessarily have to go all the way over your head if you don't have the range of motion for it. Just try to get up as high as you can without right there. bending your back. How you doing over there? Good. You sound like you're breathing pretty heavy. Sweaty. <laughs> Five seconds left. Then we're dropping down to the ground for a dumbbell pullover. Right. And switch out your weights for that. Okay. Right. So press up into that bridge if you want some extra glute work. Otherwise, lower that weight back down. Come back up no further than that shoulder joint before you lower it back down. Just take your time, keep those arms as straight as you can, try to let those elbows bend. The more you let those arms bend, the easier this exercise is going to be. Which also brings into it, if you need to bend those elbows, you need to either drop your weight or 
you need to actually keep those elbows bent a little bit more to make it easier for you. But I suggest dropping that weight as much as you can to keep a straight arm. All right. Next. All right. Back to those uh, ventral raises. Okay, I'm gonna try eight pounds per hand. See how long this lasts. <laughs> Stop at the shoulders. So you got a little shutter going there. Mm -hmm. That's good. You want to be challenging yourself on these. You want to be to the point where you can almost not do a clean form on this range of motion. So if you find these really, really easy, you're not pushing yourself hard enough, try to use a little bit more weight, or just check your form, make sure you're doing everything right. Oh, okay. That's good. I made it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna use 16 pounds and just one hand for this. Or both hands, I guess. One dumbbell. Here we go. Whoop, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the cardio. All right. Okay, moving back into those cardios. Okay, I said we're doing countdown lunges or uh, three, two, one lunges. So, three, so you step two, forward. one, and jump. For the easier version, you cut out that jump for just a step. Try to go as low as you can. The longer you step out forward, the harder it's going to be. So, the in-between version is to stop here. Two, one, in the middle. Three, two, one, in the middle. <sighs> All right. High kick, touch down. So you're going to pick a side for this one. You want to kick nice and tall and then touch. Tap down by your feet and kick back up again. So balance, coordination, calorie burning, we got all of it here. So kicking up, put that foot down and tap. Up and tap. You can get into a lunge if you want to make it harder. Get lower. seconds left. Five. Okay, remember which leg was kicking. <laughs> All right, back to those three, two, one lunges. All right, yeah. Less than five seconds. <laughs> you see okay? There we go. <laughs> version just take a nice slow step out as far as it's comfortable as far as you can control but really watch that form make sure your weight is evenly dispersed before you uh, between your front and your rear leg just go straight down in the middle oh, okay can't stand sad that's over yeah <laughs> all right so kicking with that other leading leg this time mm -hmm. kicking up tapping down Keep moving. 
here we go. It's so like Kelly said last round, to make this a little bit harder, you go down into more of like a lunge position. To make it easier, you just kind of do a little bit of a deadlift. It just focuses a little bit more on your glute too, rather than incorporating those quadriceps quite so much to the front of that thigh. It's a good option if you're sore. Right. 15 seconds left. Five, three, two, one. Woohoo! All right. So we've reached our first water break. So mm -hmm. grab a quick drink. Don't drink too much. Just a little sip. And we'll get right back to work. All right, let's go ahead and jump right back into it again with our next round. Are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm starting up a timer. So we're starting off with an overhead tricep extension. So mm -hmm. one dumbbell right there back behind your head and you're straightening your arms over your head. So I'm gonna be using 16 pounds. I'm using 15 pounds per hand. Kelly likes to do these with one hand. I like to do them with two. You can do it either way. You can. <laughs> it is Mine's personal better. preference, <laughs> and I know better than to try to change Kelly's opinion on which form is better. She's very efficient on you. <laughs> Just concentrate on that form. Whichever way you're doing it, the form is the same. You want that elbow directly above that shoulder. Drop that hand back as far as you can control, and press it right back up again. If you start losing control at the very, very bottom, you might want to drop your weight a little bit so you can get more of a full range of motion out of it. <laughs> All right, moving to a bicep curl next. So I'm gonna use 12 pounds per hand for this one. Three. Yeah. All right. So we're doing a traditional bicep curl, so that palms be facing up. If you need to, you can bring those hands back to your sides towards the bottom. Try to rotate them back forward as quickly as you can. Or you can do a hammer curl like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard with wide hips. It's hard to get in the way of the dumbbells. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, yeah, there's no space to move there. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do a full curl. <laughs> a very good example of modify when you yeah. need to. All right, under 10 seconds left. So up nice and tall. Pull in your core. Squeeze your glutes. Make everything work. Okay. Okay, back. To overhead tricep extension. So I'm gonna go with 12 pounds this time. This is the last few reps. Take me out. Alright, here we go. Keep that abdominal uh, and the, those abdominal muscles and the cord nice and tight. Make sure you're not letting your back arch out too much. I'm gonna keep everything nice and straight up and down. Neutral spine. Try to keep that elbow back directly above that shoulder. Try not to let it tip forward too much. Halfway. Five seconds. Oh. All right, back to those curls. So if your muscles aren't screaming by the last five to eight seconds of this, especially during the last five to eight seconds, consider lifting more. Either check your form, definitely always check your form, and then if that's on, then increase the amount of weight that you're lifting. Keep the lungs open. Again, nice neutral spine. Elbow directly underneath that shoulder joint. No momentum, no swinging. seconds. Oh. All right, nice. cardio. So 
starting off with stutter jacks, which are meant to make you feel like you have two left feet. So don't feel bad if you feel a little bit uh, uncoordinated. That's part of the point. We're breaking apart a jumping jack in three parts. So it's one, two, three, one. So we have three different stops. So stop in the middle <laughs> and the top. Oops. Now I've got to work my brain on this one. Uh oh, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get the hang of it, pick up the pace. Halfway. Just ten seconds left. Five seconds. Rest. <laughs> that is that is a mental challenge. <laughs> it's good for you. It is. All right, next up we've got a lateral jump plus a knee. So we're gonna leap from side to side, <laughs> leap, and so then put up that knee. If you're doing the easier version, you're just doing a nice slow step back and forth. So if you're in an apartment or or a small space, otherwise you can always go up and over and do that knee. Up, knee, up, knee. And if you're if you have neighbors below, the low impact versions where it's at. <laughs> if you want to make this more difficult, stay in a lower squat the entire time, make those muscles burn. The easier you want it to be, the higher you stand up. Right. One more round at each of those. Five seconds. Right, here we go. Back to those stutter jacks. As any of those means we're moving back on to a strength <laughs> routine. Nope, one more. Oh, sorry, yes, one Lateral more. Lateral jumps. Lateral jumps. Sorry, I'm trying to jump again. We're always here. trying to rush this. Yeah. And now we're going to the cool down stretch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was... I'm out. <laughs> Normally roll. Uh, I should do one more set of these, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and call it. <laughs> you guys want pizza? <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I said that. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. Everybody always complains. There's um, like sometimes we'll get like a fast food ad before oh, workouts and stuff. Yeah. It's like I'm sorry. Can't they control can't it. control that. <laughs> Swear we're not trying to break your healthy eating. <laughs> Three seconds. All right. Now we're going back to that strength. All right, chest wide. My arms out of your way here. It's a nice, slow, controlled motion. Drop it as low as you can. Try to keep that arm almost perfectly straight. You want just a tiny, tiny bit of a bend in that elbow. You don't want it to completely lock out. All right, jump back up. And we're going on to a reverse fly. Use just four pounds for hand for this one. Oh, my point is getting up. There we go. So bend over, flat back. Bring those arms up slow and controlled. Mm. Ooh, 
Take your time with it. Feel free to drop weight if you need to, or increase if you need to. Just make sure you're challenging yourself, but you're still getting a full range of motion. Five seconds. Alright, chest fly. Up another bridge, get those weights up there, get it going. Breathe in as you drop those weights down, exhale as you're pressing back up. Keep pushing through it. Nice clean form. All right, back to that row. I'm sorry, reverse fly. Is that what we're supposed to be doing? <laughs> Just throwing random stuff out there. At least it was opposing muscle group. That's good. <laughs> Fifteen seconds left. I'm starting to make weird faces over here. Mm -hmm. Me too. Faces having seizures. <laughs> <sighs> Fly jacks. Oh. Alright, so those hands are coming up straight in front of your chest, out and back, hitting those same muscles. We just tired out. Some nice quick motion. Even that low impact version can be quick. Mm -hmm. Go, Kelly, go! Woohoo! <laughs> If you need to, uh, turn on music to motivate yourself, you know, especially once you've got the form down. It helps. It goes a long ways. Yes, and then you don't have to hear us huffing yeah, and puffing right? the entire time. <laughs> Grunting and groaning. We highly suggest turning on music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um. All right, Arnold. Oh, wait, no. We've got uh, lunch jacks. I'm jumping way ahead now. Yeah. All right, stepping right, forward to three, regular lunge motion. Two, one. Here we go. So keep your core nice and tight. Try to get a full range of motion on those arms. And keep your feet distributed or your weight distributed between those two feet. Drop down right in the center. seconds left. Always slow that motion down if you need to. Just always try to keep nice clean form. Oh. All, right. All right, back to fly jacks. More of each. Mm -hmm. You go to my quick. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Use those muscles to your chest and your upper back to snap those arms back and forth. Make sure you're getting a nice full range of motion. Whatever you do, just don't hyperextend that arm. Keep those shoulders pulled down, even if those arms are getting tired. Don't hunch those shoulders up. <laughs> I think I'm guilty. <laughs> Five seconds. Okay. 
right, lunch, lunch jacks. jacks. <laughs> Get in my zone. Get in your space. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Step out and underneath with those hands. Try to keep that torso still straight up and down. You're not trying to round your back and go down. You want to keep your back relatively straight. Halfway. Remember, like I said last time, if you need to slow down, by all means slow down, but keep that form solid. Last group, actually, yeah. before we get to that yoga part, which should be fun. All right, so we're doing Arnold press next. I'm going to use eight pounds for this. Ooh, I'm getting shaky. All right, keep those hands in nice and close. Press up and rotate nice and slow back down. Keep those elbows in. Come on, keep it going. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay. Bent over poles. I'm going to use four pounds for this one. If you've never done this before, start really light. It's kind of an awkward motion. Keep that back perfectly flat. <laughs> Tip over like you're doing a bent over row. And pull those arms straight back behind you as high as you can. Back <laughs> underneath that shoulder socket and right back up again. Try not to build momentum into this. It should be just a nice, slow, tight squeeze pulling straight up back behind you. I love strength training that makes me sweat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, doing it like this makes it much more entertaining. You have to move so quickly. Yeah, right? Five seconds left. If you can call exercise entertaining in any, yeah, right. <laughs> any form. You might need to get out more. Yeah. But it is necessary, so <laughs> relatively entertaining is a good thing. <laughs> Alright. The Arnold press. I think I might have to go with just these last time. These are really quick one. Alright, hands in nice and close. Press them straight up and back down. Keep that back straight up and down. Try to let it tilt back all at all on you. Just because that weight is out in front of your body, you're going to rock back and forth a little bit, but try to pivot from your hip or from your ankle rather than from your lower back. Almost done. Under five seconds. Ooh, let that relax. One more. <laughs> I'm gonna try a little heavier. Actually, you know what? I think I will too. I'm gonna need a second weight, but I'm gonna go heavier. <laughs> <laughs> so again, flat back, pull those arms straight up back behind you. Still concentrate on keeping that back perfectly flat, kind of arching your chest up just a little bit. 15 seconds. Your body's going to try to cheat by swinging. Don't let it. Oh. Ouch. Alright, All right, one more round of cardio. So we're dropping down on the floor for this one. Do I have room for both of us? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so pushing up into a bridge, kick, come back down, and crunch. The next time you're going to kick on the opposite leg. So bridge, kick, crunch. Ooh. 
Oops, I forgot my kick. Don't forget <laughs> your kick. I can never forget the kick. I think I'm migrating. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, what's next? Flutter kicks. Flutter kicks. Alright, do you want to make it harder? Hold the bridge to the brake. Show off. <laughs> Alright, All right. here we go. Hands out nice and wide for that flutter kick. Do not put your hands underneath your butt. All it does is give you well, support. If you do, don't, don't use them to press against. Just make sure they relax. Pull that belly button in nice and tight. If you want to make this exercise harder for your partner, mess with them <laughs> while they're exercising. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter makes those abs have to work a lot harder. <laughs> make sure you're not holding your breath. Alright. Alright. Next up with that bridge with the kicks and the crunch. <laughs> Two, one, here we go. Flutter kicks. Two, one. All right, last round of hard work. This kind of hard work. I didn't say. There's a little more left. You can always slow this way down and just do it. For flexibility even, you're still going to have to use your abs to switch those legs. You can even keep a slight bend in your knees if you have to, if you feel like you can't. I mean, you can do it right here, but it's quite a lot harder as well, so pick your difficulty level. You can also do a lower flutter kick to make it really, really hard, or you can do a high flutter kick to make it easier. Ooh, either way it hurts! <laughs> Okay. okay, we're going to give you a little extra of water break here, and we'll be right back to move into that uh, yoga, uh, actually a little bit of work, and then we're going to go into yeah. a little bit of cool down. <laughs> so we'll be right back. Alright guys, we only have one section left between us and our workout complete. So this is a nice fluid kind of stretching slash toning uh, section here and it will wind down into our cool down and stretch. So, we're going to go ahead and hit this timer. We're going to start off with warrior jacks. So, just moving back and forth between these. Start on one side. Kind of lean into the stretch <laughs> and nice and slow, come back to the center. Rotate your feet and drop down to the other side. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> Knock that off. <laughs> Just keep it going. We got about 50 seconds for each one of these to go through, so take your time, move through fluidly. Try to move away from me? Can't hit you anymore? <laughs> that look, you almost looked hurt for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, next up, we're gonna be doing a knee pull march. So we get 10 seconds transition in between knees and you can kind of just work your muscles, kind of just freestyle it, wherever you're feeling tense or tight. Just do it so it feels good. So here we go, 
knee pull march. So if you need to hold on to something for balance, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, you're pulling up. So you get a good stretch. Take your time, move at whatever pace you need to. Just keep those lungs open, don't hold your breath. The slower you move, the easier it's going to be for that balance, so take your time. Make sure that when you're doing this, you either grab the very, very top of your knee to pull up, Ooh, starting to fall over. <laughs> or do you grab underneath your thigh. Make sure you don't grab your shin because you don't want to compress your knee. All right, child's pose to push up. Okay, so we're gonna walk down nice and slow. And so <laughs> here, walk down into a push up, come back up, and enjoy that child's pose stretch. I started with enjoying my child's pose stretch <laughs> first. I'm uh, contemplating the push up. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay there if you want. <laughs> seconds left. Alright, this next one is fun. We're going to be doing a bird dog plus an arm tuck. So, again, part toning, part, part stretching here. So you're going to come up with opposite arm and leg. Then lean back, take your arm and thread it through that other side of the body so you get a good stretch through this arm. Now come back up, repeat on the opposite limbs. Back through from the other side. Okay. Well, so, <laughs> they're so nice. <laughs> picking on me. I just want to know why you get compliments about your hair all the time your and nobody hair is compliments very my nice. hair. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Alright. Next up we have an up down side star. We're not quite done working yet here. So Open up for that side star, turn back around, and go directly into forearm plank, back up, and then directly into that other side star. You want to make it easier, drop down to your knees. seconds left. All right, we're doing a forward lean, oh sorry, a toe touch plus an arm stretch. <laughs> All right, so up nice and tall. Come down to your toes, then pull back up, bring your arms down, really pull them back, force your shoulders back, really good posture here, it might be uncomfortable even. Lean forward as far as you can without any pain. Moving away from me again. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds. All right, now draw your legs in. I'm gonna crisscross them if that's comfortable. And we're gonna be leaning forward. Put our arms out here. 
just sliding forward so you get a good stretch through the legs as well as the upper body really lean away from yourself then slowly drag yourself back in pushing your shoulders down away from your ears when you get here do a big shoulder roll back and then a big shoulder roll forward and then repeat that entire sequence Next up, we have we have a kneeling quad and chest stretch. So you want to show the modification. So I'm going to stand up and pull my quad back. This opens up my chest too. If this is not comfortable for you, you can do what Daniel's doing. So if you are anything over 60 pounds, and you don't have a mat, or 160 pounds, you don't have a mat. I suggest doing it on the ground like this rather than up on your knees. It's a little bit more comfortable, and all you have to do is pull one foot up. So start in just kind of a, a cross leg position, kind of like a pigeon pose. Grab one foot and then roll forward onto that leg. Should get a stretch in the glute of this leg and the quadricep of the leg you have pulled back. Go ahead and switch. Five seconds. All right now, drop down to those knees again. Now stretch, uh, stretch your legs out so you get a little stretch here. And then we're going to come down with just one arm and press it into the floor. So you're getting a good tricep stretch here without your head in the way. You can even open this arm up if that feels good or just cross it behind your back. You should be feeling it through your tricep as well as to the outside of that shoulder, underside of that shoulder. And in your thighs too, mm -hmm. especially the inner thigh. Go ahead and switch sides. So this can be a bit of an awkward uh, position to get into, especially if you're not already relatively flexible. So don't feel bad if you need a limited range of motion or you can't quite get that elbow down all the way. All right, now I'm gonna sit. Just get comfortable again. I'm going to do an arm cross pull stretch. So grab this arm, pull it across the front of your, your uh, chest here. Try to keep that shoulder in as close to your arm as you can. So you're trying to get that arm as flat across the top of your chest as you can, about collarbone level. Alright, go ahead and switch sides. So it should be feeling a stretch up through your shoulder, but also across your rhomboid, uh, across that shoulder blade as well. Alright, next up, I'm going to finish up with just a really easy neck stretch. So you're going to be looking left, then right, then scoop. So you get a good rounded uh, neck stretch here. So look to one side. Take your time, make it over to the other, and then take your neck down as far as you can without any pain, slowly scooping over to the other side again. Now you're going to repeat, this time sweeping the other direction. So constantly be pulling those shoulders down away from your ears. You don't want to let those shoulders hunch up. You want to try to let them relax as much as you can. All right. You know what that means. 
<laughs> so that was our last stretch. Our cool down is complete, which means this workout is complete. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for day, day number five, five, our yeah. last one. <laughs> Good job, guys. Bye.